Hey everyone, welcome to Myth Talk. Today's Myth Talk is on the Kitsune. The Kitsune is the Japanese word for fox. Foxes are a common subject in Japanese folklore. In English, Kitsune refers to them in this context. Stories depict them as intelligent beings and as possessioning paranormal abilities that increase with their age and wisdom. According to Yokai folklore, a fox has the ability to shape shift into a fo human form. While some folklore speak of Kitsune employing the ability to trick others, as fox in folklore often do, other stories portray them as faithful guardians, friends, lovers, and wives. Foxes and humans live closely together in ancient Japan. This companionship gave rise to legends about the cult creatures. Kitsune have become closely associated with Arnari, a Shinto kami or spirit, and serves as its messengers. This role has enforced the fox's supernatural significance. The more tales a Kitsune has, they may have as many as nine. The older, wiser, and more powerful it is because of their potential power and influence, some people make sacrifices to them as to a deity. Conversely, foxes were often seen as witch animals, especially during the superstitious Edo period, which was from 1603 to 1876 or 1867, and were goblins who could not be trusted, similar to those of badgers and cats. The Kitsune has actually been a popular type of mythical creature in recent times, as it is a part of many films, literature, video games, and television shows, such as the 1993 television show Adventures of the Sonic the Hedgehog and Sonic the Hedgehog, a two-tailed fox named Tails, based on the video game character, appears as a friend of Sonic, which actually is supposed to be a Kitsune. In Teen Wolf, the television series, Kitsunes are spirits that live inside of a person. Kira, if you guys watched Teen Wolf, was actually a Kitsune. In films as well, Kitsunes has appeared, such as in Sonic the Hedgehog the movie, and in literature as well, and video games, most commonly again in Sonic the Hedgehog. There are supposed to actually be 13 categories of a kitsune, and here they are in ways. K's, which means wind, kind, the chikui, which is earth, the kasai, I'm pronouncing these probably way wrong, but which means fire, the kaiwa, which means river, the Tegoku, which is heaven, the Sanda, which is thunder, the Yama, which is mountain, the Kukena, which is void, the Seshin, which is spirit, the Jigkan, which is time, the Mori, which is forest, the Umi, which is ocean, and the Ogatu, which is music. Each Kitsune has its own strength and weaknesses based on the element it is assigned to. The element reflects where the Kitsune's power originates. What efficiency it has in its elements. For example, a fire Kitsune or Zenko Kasai would be effect unaffected by fire. Could easily feed from the element of fire to strengthen itself. And, and who would use fire fox fire with ease. However, a water kitsune, Zenko Umi, would not use fire too well, but would be a natural healer and would thrive near in or in water. Okay guys, so I think I'm going to actually end it out right there. Um, We did learn some stuff about the kitsune, which is absolutely intriguing. Um, and if you guys ever want to look up even more about Kitsune's, there is more um, lore out there about Kitsune's and other 
mythical creatures that we discussed. So I highly suggest you guys can look them up. Um, but next week's myth talk will be on gargoyles. Have a great day. Peace. And thank you guys for watching.